Alrighty whitey tidies, here we go. Pretty excited about this. Kina, Bridge of Spirits. I thought it said sprites before. Keep in mind guys, I am playing on a widescreen monitor, so these black bars over here shouldn't exist within the game. It will in cutscenes, but not in the game. Let's see about that. Story mode, spirit guide, expert spirit guide, story mode. Rod abilities recharge passively and when taking damage, enemies are less aggressive and deal less damage, okay? So easy mode, rod abilities recharge when taking damage. Oh, these are like normal, hard, expert, and then master when you're done. Well, we're going to start with story mode. Oh, it's starting. Adjust the slider, let's go, until the symbol is barely visible. Let's get that volume up. Ooh, that was pretty. All right, all right. Unique wooden masks are carved into the honor of the dead. Placed in sh sacred shrines, these masks gradually return to dust, symbolizing the spirit's peaceful journey into the next life. That's nice. Not all spirits can travel this path alone. Struggling with these tragedies in their past, they linger and become dangerous. Masters called upon, I guess I'm not reading the rest. <laughs> Whoa! Scared the bonkers out of me! Whoo! I wasn't ready for that. Yo, I'm glad I got that on film. Why is it so loud? I gotta lower it here. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Eat a pulse. Whoa. Okay, there's a light shining on me right now for this video. So I think it would be a good idea for me to just fix that brightness quickly. Yo, <laughs> that scared the bonkers out of me. I was so scared. It lights up the place, so that's pretty interesting. I guess I'm just going to go forward. This is cool. Look at this lantern. Now that's what we're talking about. It's so dark. I think that's the point. There's a little spirit over there. Yo, if they, I'm really bad with scary stuff, guys. Even stuff that's not scary is scary to me. Like, these things in the water right now. What is going on? What is going on here? That's how you jump. Okay, okay. I guess we're supposed to follow this spirit. What does that do? Pulse. What does the pulse do? Looks pretty good for you guys. Nice and dark over there, eh? Can I walk? I'm so afraid. Okay, you can swim. I don't know why I thought you can walk on water. I'm assuming I should pulse here. Look at this Pixar animations. Can you zoom in? No. Where did I come from? And I wonder if there was like hidden stuff there that I had to turn around and grab. I don't know how to run. Oh, figured out how to roll. Can you run though? Or do you have to get like boots, fast boots or something? Whoa. Should we jump? Should we jump? Maybe we should jump. Woo! Went for a swim. Oh, whoa. There's a guy over there. Oh, that was a little glitch into the cutscene there. Why have you come? Okay. Okay. I sense suffering here, spirit. Do you need help? You know nothing of suffering. This is my home. My village. Who's this guy? Turn back, spirit guide. Oh god. Whoa, okay, light attack, heavy attack. Sounds good. Sounds good, let's do this, let's do this. That's right. Heavy attack, heavy attack. Skadooshed. That's right, can't pick up their items. Pretty basic, pretty basic. Wow. Not gonna lie, I feel like I would like to play this with a controller. 
I feel like my mouse is too sensitive as well. Let's see. I want it slower. I want to see some nice, nice scenery. You know what I mean? So who was that? What? Okay, there's markings on the wall over there. Who was that guy? I didn't finish reading the stuff about the masks. Man, this reminds me of old games when uh, you'd play and they wouldn't tell you to do anything. Half of this thing is glowing, which means maybe I should fight another monster? Or light up this? Yeah, that's what it was. What was that? Did something just cross by me? Huh. No one told me this was a horror film. Gosh. Okay, nice beautiful cutscenes. I guess we can go through this door. This game is absolutely beautiful though. Shout out to uh, Coffee Bean for uh, helping me uh, get this on stream. I have to break the wall? Yeah, okay, like my staff is gonna break that wall. Welcome to my first playthrough. You guys must be on the other side like, what the- Just go that way! Wow, already lost in the beginning of the game. Is that- Oh. Oh, that's right! Exactly what we found before. That's right, okay. I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to understand. Okay. Okay. I already forgot what that aura thing is called. I'm just gonna call it aura. Whoa. Okay, guys, look at these graphics. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Would you look at that? Unbelievable. Seriously. Unbelievable. Little frame drops. Not sure if that's uh, because I'm recording 4K. This feels magical. Might be a bit bright now, I think. We're gonna bring down that brightness. All right, look at this place. Look at this place, ooh. Little animals coming from here. Can we roll? Oh yeah. Oh, interact. Hey, it's kids. That's a movie. I saw him here somewhere. Hey, it's widescreen now. Hello. You're not scary. Where did he go? Or is it going to be like a gremlin and it's going to scare me? That's cute. Cinematic, like the new iPhone. Focus. So I don't know too much about this game, but I do know that my character, Kina or Kenna, has those little things running around following her. Not the little kids, that little random thing. Studio Ghibli thing. She's beautiful. Whoa, I got the chills. It got me the shivers. Shiver me timbers. Eater and uh, with rot wisp. Sure. Collect. All right. All right. This is so cute. Look at that thing. <laughs> hey! That's me. Hi. Uh, hello. What are we gonna call him? Or her? Oh, or it? It's alright. Or they? What happened here, little guy? Hmm. Whoa, look <laughs> at my hand. You got a boo boo. We need to give him a name. 
we're gonna call him Gobu. <laughs> I don't know why, but Gobu. Whoa! Maybe I should just lower what's in my ears right now. Find the rot, search more rot in the area. Oh, they're called rots? Well, obviously I read that before, but Gobu is a, is a nicer name. We're gonna go with Gobu. Look how beautiful this is, wow. Okay, let's search for more, let's press this. Wow. Press, oh, you can double jump, nice. I'm wondering if you're supposed to play this with a controller or not. Oh, nice. Okay, we got a double jump. So we are magical. We are very magical and we know this already. It's a magical land. We need to find more of those rots. We're still calling our... There she is. Run. Wait, where? I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Are those big kids... Rots? Gobus? Hey, a big go gobu. Why is it? Why, why, why do I want to call it gobu? Wabba dabba dabba dabba. One out of five found. This is pretty interesting. I really like this game so far. Don't know why. Just the vibes are where it's at, you know? I don't even know how long this video is supposed to be, but we're going to go until it feels right. There's something flashing over there. I guess we can go there. Lots of symbols around. Hello, gobu. Okay, good. So, it, oh, animation every time. Are we just going to collect all our Gobus in one shot? I don't get it. And why did this mushroom just randomly appear? It's hard for me to see what's going on. I'm, oh, I'm not used to playing games like this. But it looks pretty good so far anyways. You know, I don't know much about this game, like I said. It seems like you're not gonna get different clothes. Oh, interact? Whoa! Yo, you can chill with your Gobus! Stand up. Stand up and shout! I'm quick! Where are you? Beautiful game. Yeah, I want to be able to change my staff and costume, but I don't think this is going to be one of those games. Collect more rot to purify this dead zone heart. Oh, that's sad. So, wow, when the music changes, you know. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's going to be like, uh, really like a Disney movie and, uh, Grab Ledge. That's cool to know. Really like a Disney movie and you won't be able to change your clothes. Can we just grab ledge by dropping? Oh yeah, okay, that's cool. That's interesting. There's no stamina bar. That's cool. No, we're going backwards now, aren't we? Wow. Hanging out with John Nee. And you're just exploring. Getting lost. Oh, oh, you see? That's right. The waterfall. Oh, this is cool. Oh, who's over there? Yeah, yeah, I see. I see there's something there. There's something there. Oh, watch out for the rocks. Little go boost. Oh, you fell down. Okay. So you're just going to collect all of them at once. Or maybe you're going to collect all of them and then they all go away and then you have to find them like uh, Korok seeds or something. I keep like comparing this to Zelda. It's not really like Zelda. It's just I'm not used to playing games like this that aren't Nintendo. I'm going to try to move my mouse better, slower, but in more static movements. Because I feel like that's going to be more enjoyable to look at, to watch. I think that's what it is. It does feel like maybe this should be done with a controller. We'll connect the controller later. Hey, little house. 
This is where they hang out, the kids. Look at the little gobus. Look at the... Okay, let's get in the sun. Let's get in the sun. Look at the little gobus over here. Wow, look at them go. What was the uh, thing? Q? Them. Oh, backflip. I want to hang out with them. What was it? C. That's what it was. That's right, C. Look how cute these things are. They just make you let, like hang out with them. Like, Let's go and dance. Press 2 for dance. Oh, is it that one that dances? Oh, it makes the others dance! Okay, what about a kiss? Hello. That's obviously how you would react if you saw them. Oh. Okay, let's go. Let's get back to the point here. Wow. This is enjoyable. This is definitely decent so far. Just by Q points. Yes! Treasure chests are where it's at! And better go. Okay, obviously it's another Gobu. Oh, I leveled up. Rock can perform more actions now. Uh, press R to send the rod in, in, onto objects in the environment. Okay, R. Collect rod to level up and gain more rod action. Sounds good. So yeah, it seems like it is going to be uh, dropping a couple frames a bit, lagging a bit. It is a very new game. I don't know how games on PC work. Whoa. I just leveled up, I think, so I got this. I don't know what that is. It doesn't let me do anything. But yeah, hopefully it'll be fixed, and maybe it's it could just be that I'm uh, recording at the same time at this a beautiful wide screen. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's our power. Press E to pulse and destroy. Jump! Whoa! Oh wow, it looks nice now. Look at that. If it was only that easy to do landscaping in your house. I tell all of you to hire me because I have magical powers. Okay, it's really weird that the normal run button is this zoom in button. Kind of thrown off by that. Okay, it's just a house, I guess. So it looks like a pretty linear story. It's not really open world here. They kind of make it feel like it's open world, but nothing too crazy. We can swim. We lost those kids. I forgot that's what we were doing here. I'm just exploring, you know? I love third-person games. Oh, that, yeah, obviously. Ledge, okay. But I'm sure this is going to get more intense as it goes. Press towards the direction and jump across ledges. Cool. Okay, so you can climb off the select. It's not climbing walls like anything you want. Oh, here we go again. Here I go again on my own. No fall damaged. Nice. Is there gonna be bad guys here? Woo! That scared me again! Ugh. Rod are scared and have gone into hiding. Attack enemies to build courage. In in combat, spend courage to perform rod actions. Okay, cool. Courage drops can form in the world. Collect drops with your pulse E or touch them. Build up courage faster. Sounds good. Uh, rod are ready. They can destroy dead zone hearts or, or bind enemies. Press R to quickly send your rod onto objects in the environment. Sounds good. Hold shift to aim and then, oh, to bind enemy, enemies. All right, so if I was going for something like, oh, for something like this, they would bind the enemy. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, I can't use them right away. It's on cooldown. They're on cooldown right now. They are on cooldown. Skadoosh! Skadoosh! I didn't... Oh, it worked yet? Yeah, it worked. Okay. 
Nice. Or maybe just my little guy's name is Gobo, and the rest are rots. Maybe that's what it is. Wow. I'm not sure if this is the kind of game that have secrets all over the place. So I don't think I'm going to spend time just trying to find every little crack in the city. Wow. Wow. Look at you. What a beautiful shot. Wow. I kind of want to bind this button to another button, but whatever. Okay, you went this way. We should probably go that way. But there was another place to go. Okay, so these are markings on the wall that are trying to say go up. Okay, well, I can't go that high, dude. Probably have to go this way. Rod can move certain objects in the environment. Press R to have the rot pick up an object. Tell the rot where to go by aiming shift and then... Sure. So I can just be like, go here? What is going on here? Oh, you gotta choose the floor. Good gosh. Oh, we gotta bring it down there. I know what's what you're saying. I know what you're saying. We're going over here. Thanks, guys. Thanks for doing all the heavy work for me. We're going... You guys are going to go right here. Thank you. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to go check this corner. To see if there's a chest of some sorts. I knew there was something here. What is this? What is this now? Imagine they're called rots and those are actually the bad guys. Oh, well, that's their food? That's it? Okay. It's weird. So imagine the rots are the like the bad guys. They actually rot the whole place. They just do illusion work, so when they're trying to kill stuff, uh, kill the bad stuff, it actually just looks like it's clean, but it's not. That's why they're called rots. I'm kidding. Let's not put that mindset. Let's not think negatively. Alright, there's another thing over here. Not sure what that is. That probably means there's a rot nearby. Uh, anything going on here? Can you pick that up? Can you pick that up? Okay. That did something. It gave me some of something. Sure. So it looks like there are kind of like little secrets around the place. That's cute. That's fine. Where are you? Oh, this? Okay. Yeah, I see. Open. Ah. So, right now I'm hoping the game is not all about... Let's get to a boss battle. Let's go to a boss battle. I'm hoping the game is not all about just uh, using rods to do things right now. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's go check out... Uh... Let's keep climbing. Let's go get this thing. Alright, let's do this. Okay, we got some crystals this time. Interesting. Interesting. Nice, nice. We made the jump. We made the jump. Let's do it again. Okay, that's nice. Let's get up here. Can you just walk over it? No, you actually have to jump. But, <gasps> holy cow. Yeah, I know that's where we have to go, buddy. Music stopped. Why? Not sure. Not sure why. Here he is. All right. All right. We're not any good here, that's for sure. What do you just gotta say? Cutscene, not widescreen this time. So it seems that they do it sometimes widescreen cutscene or not. Oh. Oh. Let me help you. Never mind. I can heal these spirits and restore balance to the forest. Hmm. I know you are kind. Oh, he sounds cool. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. Wow. 
The voice acting is actually really good. What's he doing? Dead and corruption. Oh, the remain here. Okay, is this the classic? You see the final boss in the beginning, and then. Uh, this land can be healed, but you cannot stay here, spirit. You must move on. You are the one who does not belong. Oh well, never. Abandon. I keep. Woo! Okay, okay, let's do it. This is the first boss. Let's do the first boss! Alright. Eat a shield. Yo, that's kind of scary. I'm not gonna... Whoa! Okay! I should probably shield... Okay, okay, so I think this is the kind of game where you need to... Um, I need to, yeah, change that button for this. The kind of game, activate, activate shield right one moment. Yo, yo, this is like scary. Okay, right when it. Oh, I did the parry. I got you in a corner, buddy. Got you in a corner. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, it's one of those games that you actually have to read your the boss's moves for sure. No way that's the boss. That was probably not even a boss. That was probably just like a a minion of a boss. They pretended it was a boss. Nice transition straight into cutscene. Except it should have been ultra wide. Like now. Okay. Sorry. Ooh. Hello. Wow. You can come out. Game over. Imagine. We just beat the game. Look, sorry, she cleared away the poison. The little guys can eat it. The little guys can eat it. They love it. <laughs> My name's Kana. Kana. What are you two doing out here, alone in the forest? Kana, it's the only. The, Don't worry about us. It's the one I We've didn't been here say a right. Long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. Mm -hmm. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the gross poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? None of your biz. I have I'm no clue. For the sacred oh. mountain shrine. Can you take me there? Wow. If you want to get to the mountain shrine, you have to help us with something first. Okay. Sure. Classic. Our brother Tar was trapped deep in the forest. We need oh, you no. to help him. How old are these kids? Because in, 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 in our real life, if you're that tiny, you don't speak that well. Great idea, Saya. That'll be easy for her. Did you see what she did to that stick guy? Help us free Tara and we'll take you to Mount Shrine. They obviously don't know where Mount Shrine is. Look how cute the little uh, gobos are. Gobos. Gobos. Our village is this way. Okay, let's go. Rot found? Wait, did I get more? Why do I have question marks for? Okay, sure. Let's just follow the leader. I love the aesthetics of this game, though. Oh, classic. Oh, now it's ultra, ultra wide. Okay, I'll stop with the ultra wides. Gosh. Wow. Bridge of Spirits, Kenna. Wow. Would you look at that? All right, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end the first episode of this. I really want to play more of this, so I will continue playing more of this. Yeah, I think I'm going to be playing this game for quite some time. All right, we just learned that you can sprint. I didn't know where it was. Now I changed the command. We can run faster now. That would have been great to know before.
Wow. All right, let's save and end it here. Save. Booyah! Main menu.